Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and I'm um, here to answer a lot of questions that I've been getting on the YouTube about uh, building Hackintoshes. So uh, a lot of the common questions I get is uh, picking the parts, and so uh, I know the videos that I've made, there are specific parts that uh, I just happen to buy or have, but uh, not everybody has the same parts. So um, if you go to Google and you look up the HCL... 10.6.0 which is the hardware compatibility list for Snow Leopard uh, this is the list of hardware that is uh, most compatible with Hackintoshes so if you want to know uh, what motherboards uh, broken up into brand names here say for example the Asus motherboards um, you can also jump to the Gigabyte uh, so far I've had a lot of luck with uh, Gigabyte um, motherboards they seem to have been the most compatible um, everything from the older EP45's uh, all the way up to X58's uh, which is the latest um, uh, chipset from Intel that supports the uh, i3, i5, i7 processors so uh, yeah uh, that's the motherboards and there's also a list of uh, the graphics card but uh, Probably the uh, best place you want to go to is uh, Tony Max x86 blog. Um, here's where I got uh, all the information about iBoot and MultiBeast. Uh, they're constantly coming out with new updates. There's a newer version of uh, iBoot and uh, MultiBeast uh, that has more support for uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. So here's the step-by-step -step process of basically what I followed um, in my video. Um, so if you want to go through this you can as well they don't really get too detailed um, as far as what to choose in multi beast but they do a lot of good explanation so uh, if you uh, want to see uh, what you want to pick and choose then uh, go ahead and watch my video um, more information about multi beast is the latest update the things that they uh, just um, uh, released right Right. So um, and the next part here is um, building a Mac and choosing the various hardware. Here is where um, the blog uh, gives you some suggestions as to what parts to cho choose, like the CPU, the motherboard. This is, however, a... Uh, like a Mac Mini, I guess, that they have going on here. And it's a, a, a Mini ITX board, or Mini ATX board. And um, maybe if you don't want this particular size board, you could definitely go with a larger one, but uh, uh, stick with the uh, H55 um, chipset, and you'll be fine. There's a suggestion for the graphics card, hard drive, everything to build a complete system and then here's optional upgrades uh, the CPU, the various CPUs you can put in there, the memory the hard drive and whatnot All right and then here is a list of the compatible uh, NVIDIA graphics Alright, so uh, somebody had a question on how to multi-boot a hard drive. Uh, the Lifehackers website here has a good tutorial on uh, multi-booting uh, hard drives. The best option is to use multiple hard drives uh, rather than uh, partitioning everything. So um, essentially if uh, you want to do, let's say, a dual boot, for example, of uh, Windows 7 and uh, Snow Leopard, and you've already got a Windows 7 machine. Uh, what you do is that you unplug your Windows 7 hard drive, right? Then you go through and install Snow Leopard on another hard drive. Go through the entire process of installing everything with the Chameleon bootloader, with Multi Beast, with uh, um, everything else. Um, what you do is then, after you've installed everything, you plug in your Windows 7 hard drive and the Chameleon Bootloader will detect it and then it'll give you it as an option to uh, boot into the hard drive so uh, when you start up you'll see the Chameleon Bootloader have a little countdown timer 
um, just press spacebar, press a button to go into choosing uh, what OS that you want to start up with. All right. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out the Life Hackers: How to Triple Boot Your Hackintosh with Windows and Linux. All right. So uh, that's pretty much all I got for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.